that is using our transportation dollars to put boulders down in areas where they are not using the land. A dispute over boulders in a YouTube video. Commissioner Joanne Hardesty bashes the Oregon Department of Transportation. She says the agency is using taxpayer money to displace the homeless. Fox 12's Marja Martinez looked into these claims and joins us live with what she found. Marja. Pete, the commissioner was standing right here on these rocks, this cement, when she made that video. In fact, she's accusing ODOT of spending more than a million dollars laying down this concrete as well as those big boulders here throughout parts of Portland just to keep the homeless away. Records we obtained show that's true, but ODOT says there's a good reason for it. I am outraged that we're using public money to displace people that we cannot provide housing for. The Oregon Department of Transportation confirms it laid boulders and cement on at least seven properties it owns throughout Portland, including this plot across from the homeless outreach nonprofit JOIN. A spokesperson says the boulders are a disincentive for homeless people to camp on the land since it's unsafe to have them sleeping next to high traffic areas. He says just this Monday, a homeless person was killed in a deadly crash near I-205 and Highway 212. But in a YouTube video, Commissioner Joanne Hardesty criticized the move, saying it only pushes the most vulnerable into residential areas. Jesus Esteves Viciedo agrees. He has a job, but says he doesn't make enough to afford rent. He worries ODOT's rockscape projects will limit options for him to sleep, and according to Commissioner Hardesty, Portlanders are footing the cost. ODOT confirms that's true. I'm told by law the agency can't spend money on non-transportation-related projects, so Portland pays to clean up ODOT land within the city limits. Records show in the last two years alone, more than $4 million in taxpayer money was used to clean up camps. Conversely, a little over a million dollars has been put into laying these boulders since 2013. One million is a lot better than four. I mean, I'd rather spend a million dollars and stop them, and then I won't have four million dollars down the road every year to clean up after them. We want to hear from you on this issue. We've actually added a poll to the Fox 12 news page, and you can see already more than 1,500 people have voted. 87% say the boulders should stay. Just 13% are voting for these boulders to be removed. If you want to add your two cents, you can go to our Facebook page. Reporting live from Northeast Portland, Marge Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon.